Hey guys, Credit Shifu here. Today we are asking the question, is there a credit card that you can apply for that doesn't check your credit score? Well, yes, sort of. Well, actually, no. Well, kind of. So, there is a new card apparently coming out uh, called Petal Card. And right now they're just in a sort of uh, testing stage um, at the moment. And this is a startup, um, a little bit similar in a way to the Vital Card that we talked about last week, although it's not a sort of network marketing thing, it's actually just a regular credit card, but they are similar in a way that they're a startup. They have the, a very similar website with a sort of uh, modern looking pictures and kind of sparse big white areas or single colored areas of the site. Um, you know, quite a kind of sort of trendy or sort of innocent looking design that sort of draws you in, okay? Um, and so basically this card, um, it's intentionally a card for people who perhaps have not built up their credit, okay? So they specifically say, um, you know, young people or new immigrants to the country. Uh, basically the kind of the people I talk to when I tell you how to sort of get your first credit card, all right, which I recommend a secured card. This isn't a secured card. So how do they check um, if you're worthy of a credit card without looking at your credit score. Well, basically they ask you to input your bank account um, information into their site when you apply um, and they can actually look at your, they get read-only access to your bank account and so they can look through at your transactions how much money is coming into your account, how much you're spending and how much you're saving, all right, how much you're putting over into a savings account and they make their um, <clears throat> their determination um, on your credit from that, rather than your credit score. Um, they do say in their terms and conditions that they may check your credit score as well. Um, and probably for people who are, you know, already have some credit cards, if they apply for this card and they have a good credit score, they'll probably just rely more on the credit score. But for people who have a non-existent credit score, they're gonna be looking at the bank account information, um, which is all digitized now. And the, the CEO made a good point. He said that credit scoring system was actually developed about 60 years ago. Um, when you didn't have sort of digitized bank account, you know, information for all the transactions on an account. And so they've relied on this score for the last 60 years, but actually now there's a lot more information that companies can use and they want to utilize that information to determine how to give cards to, um, you know, to people without credit scores. So let's have a look at the card. Well, it's kind of a, <clears throat> it's a no frills card, basically, something like the Capital One Platinum, basically no rewards, although they're, they say there will be a few benefits that come with Visa, because it's a Visa card, so like the auto collision damage wave or something like that um, will be on the card. It has no annual fee, and it actually has no fees at all, so no late payment fee, no uh, fee for going over your balance, uh, over your credit limit, etc. I'm a little bit curious as to how they will function with no fees at all, so you know, no late payment fee. Well, what if someone's late for their payment literally every month? I mean, there's got to come a point where they'll close your account. So I'm sure in the terms and conditions, um, they do say something about that. Maybe several, like three months if it's late, they're going to close your account, something. I, I don't know, but uh, we'd have to look more into it. But basically, there are no fees, they say. Um, there is, of course, interest. So they make money off of the interest and they also make money off the merchant fees. Now, as of yet, there don't seem to be any rewards and they don't seem to have plans to have any rewards like 1% cash back or airline miles or anything like that. Um, but they did say there will be some benefits. So benefits is more like, you know, when a card gives you like insurance for something or purchase protection or, you know, all the, that kind of stuff, luggage insurance. So it seems that they're working on some stuff like that now and that there will be um, that coming. Now, what do I think about this card? Well, first of all, the website kind of puts me off, okay? No amount of innocent looking balloons, flowers, or pink pastel colors can make me think that this credit card is any different to any other credit card, all right? Um, it's a startup. They're super excited about their product. They, they kind of think that it's revolutionary. Um, it is definitely a very interesting idea for people with no credit and would be very useful. And it will definitely probably make credit cards easier to get. Uh, for people who have no credit score but are financially responsible and can prove that by allowing this company to look at their bank account. Um, <clears throat> some people might be a little bit uh, suspicious or not comfortable with sharing their bank account information because the way it works is a window pops up in their website that connects to your bank and you actually have to enter your username and password and it gives them read-only access to your bank account. So some people might not be comfortable with that. Um, basically, I think it's an interesting product to check out. 
uh, they are currently in a testing phase that's invitation only. Uh, one person on our video who commented about this said that he's signed up for it, but the date when you'll get the card keeps getting pushed back, um, which is unfortunate. Obviously, this is like a brand new company, so they don't really have any reputation, so I can't really make a judgment on whether this company is like, you know, a good company or whether it's all going to fold in the future. Um, I think there is definitely less chance of this folding and going under than the Vital card that we talked about the other day, which, you know, enti <laughs> entices people in through a sort of network marketing scheme to make money. This is more like just providing a service for people um, who otherwise wouldn't be able to get credit card. However, Capital One also does this quite well already using existing uh, credit scoring technology and there is always the option of a secured card where you put down a $300 deposit. $300, let's face it, isn't really that much. Um, but, you know, it could still be useful if someone prefers to put down zero uh, instead of putting down $300. Um, that would definitely be useful. This card, the credit limits range from $500 to $10,000. And, you know, they said something in their documentation about that the cards are going to grow with the user. So it's possible that as you go on, you know, climbing up the credit ladder, they will offer some options to upgrade, perhaps, uh, to a new newer card or a card with some rewards, perhaps, later on. Uh, but currently, they seem to only have this one credit card. So this is a credit card that uh, apparently doesn't rely on your credit score uh, to give you a card. So it sounds like a good first card. Um, you can make the judgment for yourself though. I'll put their website underneath and go check it out. You have to go on a waiting list at the moment. So they're doing a sort of closed invitation only trial of the card. So leave your comments below guys. What do you think about this? Do you think it's good that we use technology to create a better system than the uh, current credit scoring system that the US has relied on for the last 60 years? All right, thanks guys. If you're new, please subscribe. Give this video a like. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.